Prime Minister got caught turning a blind eye to Beijing's interference in our elections, his government was dragged kicking and screaming into calling a public inquiry. I don't know why the news you're about to hear isn't resulting in shockwaves, but we're going to do our best today to bring more attention to the matter. The National Security and Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians, which goes by the acronym PSYCOP, was asked last year to investigate allegations of foreign interference in Canadian elections. They just published a very damning report on foreign interference. That report states some parliamentarians are wittingly helping foreign governments like China and India meddle in Canadian politics. Even more disturbing, the report singled out an unidentified former MP. According to CSIS, this MP had designs on setting up a working relationship with a senior intelligence official. Are you guys ready for this? In their attempts to establish that relationship, the mystery MP proactively provided the intelligence officer with information provided in confidence. The report also found the following. Frequent communications with foreign missions during a political campaign to obtain support from community groups or businesses. Knowingly accepting funds or benefits from foreign missions or their proxies which have been layered or otherwise disguised conceal their source. Providing foreign officials with privileged information on the work of opinions of fellow parliamentarians knowing that such information could be used by those officials to inappropriately pressure parliamentarians to change their positions. And finally, responding to the requests or direction of foreign officials to improperly influence parliamentary colleagues or parliamentary business to the advantage of a foreign state. The report also cites the Liberal government has been aware of this matter since 2018. It has now been revealed that the Prime Minister and the Cabinet are obstructing the work of the inquiry by refusing to turn over documents to the Commissioner. A simple question, will the Prime Minister end the obstruction and turn over all documents requested by Madam Justice Hogue unredacted, yes or no? Just think of what kind of legal consequences the average Canadian would face for this kind of behavior. But no action will be taken. Why? Because Canada never implemented measures to punish the crime of sharing classified information with foreign interests. All this despite the fact that when MPs are sworn to office, they swear an oath against this very kind of behavior. Another statement that stood out from report is the following. The implications of this inaction include the undermining of democratic rights and fundamental freedoms of Canadians, the integrity and credibility of Canada's parliamentary process, and public trust in the policy decisions made by the government. So my question to you is, at what point will we finally start to feel outrage? What will it take for Canadians to stop voting corrupt liberals into power? Have your say in the comments. Thank you very much for watching.